are signs Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we are going to find out why is a person ghosting you. And this reading has many specific details that you may not resonate from the beginning to the end. And for those of you earth signs dealing with another earth sign and you're confused if this reading is meant for you, it is meant for you because you are divinely guided to this video and you're the one watching it not your person just like any other collective readings on youtube if you stumble upon it that is the reading for you no matter what your signs are okay let's get a reading started spirits and angels for a signs virgo taurus and capricorn why is the person ghosting them please show me Okay, show me more. Strong fire signs you could be dealing with. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. It could also be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yep, King of Wands here is in one verse. So we've got the Five of Swords. This is uh, sitting right in the middle of your spread. So they could be playing games right now. Um, but also the Five of Swords can be an indication of them wondering if they should fight for this connection if sh if they should carry on or reach out to you or should they give up on it because we've got the nine of wands here they may have their guards up maybe they're afraid mm, maybe because of something that you have said to them with ace of swords here some of you may have said something very honest too brutally honest or maybe you could have cut them off um some communication that's what i'm getting here because there are two swords here maybe it could have been miscommunication or both of you may have had a verbal argument hmm. doesn't matter verbal by text but we've got the four of pentacles here in my verse and we've got the justice here a little bit of a revengeful energy here as well are signs virgo taurus and capricorn there's something that they think they think this is the right thing to do to you which is to ghost you um kind of it's like as if that you deserve it. You deserve to be ghosted. I don't know. That's this energy of them purposely with the strength card here just holding back, right? Because they feel like perhaps they want the balls to, the, to be on their court. They want to be the strong one. Um, they want to win this game, right? Five of Swords again. Five of Swords can indicate mind games as well. So they could be playing mind games. And they also perhaps have a huge ego, right? With the strength card here. A huge ego and with the justice here it, because the justice sometimes can get karma so it feels like they are kind of thinking like maybe they should give you <laughs> the karma <laughs> you know by ghosting you teach you a lesson something like that because the justice also can indicate punishment right so they just want to punish you that's what i'm getting here by ghosting you and four pentacles here is in reverse hmm. Maybe you've given up on them for pentacles. Maybe you've said something to them. That's what I'm getting here. Or you may have hurt them with certain things that you have said or you've cut them off. So they're hurt. Nine of Wands, actually. They're hurt. And it has hurt their ego, too, with the Strength card here, right? Again, and with the Five of Swords here. So for them to feel much more empowered now, um, like... To not appear to be weak or vulnerable in front of you or don't want to be the one in the losing end so they feel like they should withdraw and ghost you and just waiting for you seven of pentacles <laughs> so your person is actually waiting for you to be the one perhaps begging them pleading to them or the one reaching out to them the one chasing after them and we've got the moon here in reverse yeah, they're just waiting. They're holding back. They're holding back uh, from you. They don't want. Uh, they're ghosting you, of course, because we're asking about this question, right? But they're waiting for you to be the one with Ace of Swords here to open up communication, to speak with them, to beg them, to you know, it it feels kind of vindictive, to be honest. Or signs. Let's see more. Yeah, your person could be a fire and strong Leo, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius again. Could also be a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. See, deep down, they love you. Ace of Cups and 
king of cups here in an upright position they do love you they do suppress they're suppressing their emotions or that they don't really want you to know they don't want to tell you king of wands in reverse they want to appear to be as if they're still cool and that you know they're not going to be the one who begs you for your love who begs you to to reach out to you and speak with you six of swords here and seven of cups they're waiting for you to be the one who returns to them nine of pentacles here is in reverse they need your love <laughs> they need your love they need you they need your attention something that they need that they need from you okay it could be anything um it could be money it could be attention it could be just you being there for them um but you know it just feels like it just feels like they would like to have this new beginning with you with ace of cups here and they would like to return six of swords here in, a, uh, in an upright position it feels like a person really wants to return to you and offer you this new love beginning and to express to you how they feel see the nine of pentacles in reverse i feel like they don't want to show you that they need you yeah they could also be trying to move on to see if if they could do it on their own without you in your life. Hmm. Yeah, they're definitely playing games with the Five of Swords here. Let's see more. Ace of Cups also can indicate maybe this your person at home could be uh, ghosting you right now. That they could be, you know, practicing self love, self care. Because it feels a bit like I want to see if I can if I can do it without Earth signs. I want to see if. I can live without them so let me ghost them for a while and let me go do my own thing you know seven of cups here in reverse it could be wanting to see if the the grease is greener on the other side if there are any other you know options out there but i feel like with a fool in reverse page pentacles in reverse and the hangman see this is deliberate so they deliberately um just hang in there even though they're not comfortable I, I don't see them actually liking ghosting you but they feel it's necessary to like sort of teach you a lesson because again the justice feels like a punishment so they really want to punish you right by ghosting you page of pentacles in reverse see by not speaking with you by not doing anything mm, also they could be thinking it could be a mistake if they were to uh, reach out to you or say something to you yeah and the three cups here is in reverse. Let's see, just a little bit more. Yeah, they're just waiting for you, right? They think it's a bad judgment call to be, you know, keeping in touch with you, or sending you a message, telling you exactly how they feel. Um, you could be dealing also with a Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus. They're definitely delaying this communication. I feel like they just want you to be the one who returns to them and be the one to express to them how much you love them, you know how much you need them maybe they want you to feel like you need them that's what i'm getting here like it feels again like a punishment right they want to punish you they want to you know send you like karma to you like okay this is how it's gonna feel without me in your life hmm. they want you to realize something with the ace of swords gain some either clarity insights on your own without him being in the picture and also they've got a huge ego again with the uh, strength card here and they're waiting seven pentacles in an upright and with this uh, moon here in reverse they're waiting patiently and i think they could be extra patient is because of their ego their ego could be telling them if you're being patient earth signs are going to be the one who breaks the silence to reach out and to beg them to you know, Ace of Cups offer them love. Hmm, it's kind of cruel to be honest, but um, let's, Earth Signs, let's uh, get you a feel of these oracles. Oops. It 
It's like they are so sure. See, I told you there's a deception here. So there are there are ulterior motives of why they're ghosting you. First is because again of their ego, they're playing mind games with you, and also secondly, I feel like they also wanna seek out other options out elsewhere to see if you know the grass is actually greener on the other side. But deep down, they do love you, right? But they're still waiting for you despite whatever they could be doing out there. Um, they're definitely deceiving you, they're ghosting you, deceiving you in a sense where they want you to think that they don't care about you anymore, they don't want you so that you will be the one who's going to be chasing after them. And just keep an open mind and just stay optimistic. These two cards here for me indicates them, you know, feeling so sure. <laughs> they could be stroking their own ego. I'm sure a science will come back to me no matter what. They will come back to me no matter what, and I just have to chill. That's what I'm getting here. And we've got the um, religious factors, forgiving and learning. Some of you, I feel like, um, just some of you, okay? Could be because either both of you have a different religion, different spiritual beliefs, or just very different. Some, there's some differences between the two of you. Could be age gap as well. That it could be a doubting a little bit. Um, whether it can work out between two of you. That's just for some of you, yet not all of you. And then we've got forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Yeah, I feel like your person is also, again, like I mentioned earlier on, that they just want to try and release you and see if they can do it on, your, on their own without needing you to be in their life. They're still testing the water, right? But I feel like they're going to speak with you eventually. Yeah, they definitely are going to speak with you eventually. They just want to see how long can this go on. Um, because Five of Swords feels like they want to win this game. So the, the, the last person to, you know, blink will be the winner. That's what I'm getting here. All right, Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. This is your reading. I hope it serves you well. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. And if you'd like to be notified every time when I post your videos, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. And I'm leaving you with two playlists on the screen right now. They're from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. Check them out if you want to. The first one is from my... Yeah, first one is from my second vlog channel. It's a travel vlog channel. The second playlist is from this channel. It has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics, different questions. There's so many readings there, so many bonus readings for you. Um, they are some some are collective, some are um, bonus readings with individual signs. Um, check it out if you want to. All right, take care of signs. Bye.